Hey guys, Stephen Maxwell here with Funtown RV. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Wildwood Grand Lodge 42 FLDL. Let's go take a look. Up here on the tongue of this trailer, we are going to have a manual jack. These destination trailers aren't meant to be moved very often. It's more of a temporary living situation for whatever you're gonna need it for. However, you do have two large propane tanks on the front to accommodate for whatever usage you're gonna be using it for. As you can see, this is gonna be a very large travel trailer. This is gonna be a destination setup. This Wildwood Grand Lodge is really meant to be a temporary living situation for whatever you're gonna need it for. As far as you're building a new home, need somewhere to stay, need a new residence at the deer lease, or just want an extra living accommodation at your lake area. This trailer is going to have a large residential sliding glass door. Really gives you a residential open feel for this trailer. It is still an RV, so you are gonna have your 12 volt electrical awning that's gonna come out. It is by Solaire, it does have full warranty on it, and it is gonna have an auto dump feature for rain. Moving along the side, you do see we still have our waterproof Bluetooth speakers outside. These are gonna be really nice for your campground or wherever you're gonna be using it at. We're keeping the speakers down low here so that you're playing music for all your friends and family and not spreading it over the property or the campground. Moving back, you do have a secondary door for your rear bedroom. So if you do need that extra entrance or an emergency exit for any kind of situation, you do have that there. As you see, this trailer does have manual stabilizers. That's gonna be pretty common place for destination trailers. This trailer is not meant to be towed a million miles a year. It is really meant to stay in one place for multiple years for years of use. On the off door side of this trailer, we are going to have some separate storage. This does have access underneath the master bed inside if you need to access it from inside. We don't see a hot water heater access here like you see on most travel trailers. That's because this Grand Lodge is going to have a residential 19.9 gallon hot water heater. Very large, gives you a lot of extra water for that full family in there. All right guys, well we've seen the outside of this Wildwood, let's go ahead and head on inside. All right guys, inside this Wildwood, we are going to see it has a lot of space in the interior. These are gonna be some of the tallest ceilings in the industry currently. And we do have our Thomas Payne furniture on the inside that has been commonplace for Wildwoods for quite a time now. We do have two recliners that are gonna be facing your entertainment center. And behind me, we are going to have a full length pullout couch that does give you some extra sleeping area if you need it. Entertainment center here in the Wildwood is going to have a large RV rated TV. Underneath, you're gonna have your Furion sound bar with the radio and Bluetooth. Underneath that, you will see your electric 12 volt fireplace that does act as a space heater. Here in Texas, that is very invaluable because it does get cold, but most of the time it's not quite cold enough. You wanna burn up all your propane up front. So that is a very nice feature to have. All right, guys, yes, we are still in the Wildwood. It may look like we have relocated to my home, but this is this Grand Lodge's kitchen. It does have your residential fridge that is going to have the ice maker and the water dispenser. Very rare in RVs nowadays that have that. You are gonna have a double basin sink down here. Both basins are very deep and stainless steel, easy to clean, gonna be very easy to use during your camping trips. Over here, you do have your Furion three burner stove that is gonna run on propane, as well as your oven down underneath. Another rare thing you don't see in RVs very commonly is going to be a nice large pantry. It might even look like the pantry you have at your home. Got plenty of storage in there for all your food. All right, guys, moving down the hallway of this Wildwood, we are gonna see a door right here next to our glass door. This is going to be your main bathroom. Part of the advantage of having a destination trailer is this bathroom is gonna be a lot larger than any bathroom you've seen in an RV before. The Wildwood in the bathroom is gonna offer a very large residential shower and some of the largest counter space you're gonna see in a travel trailer today. All right guys, now that we're done with the bathroom, we're actually gonna go take a look at the loft. All right guys, up here in the loft of the 42 Grand Lodge, we are going to see two lofts. This one is gonna be the sleeping loft. Gives you a little bit of extra space for sleeping, TV hookups, and a little bit of storage. On the other side, we are gonna have another loft that does offer a little bit more sleeping area. All right, guys, coming from the loft, we're gonna to go to the master bedroom. The master bedroom in this Wildwood is gonna be quite large and has quite a bit of storage. You do have four drawers here, as well as a ward on this side. 
And of course, it wouldn't be a residential travel trailer without washer dryer. All right, guys, this is Steve Maxwell again with Funtown RV. This has been the 42 FLDL. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe. If y'all have any other RVs you want to take a look at, feel free to comment below. And don't forget, the fun starts here.